I'm back. Hello. My hair is just damp enough that I can put it in a scrunchie without any problems and still dry enough that I'm okay. And uh, I found a more flattering angle for my camera finally. Finally, my little gooseneck light and holder combo wanted to sit up. I am currently wearing one of my finds from TJ Maxx slash Marshalls. Um, I got it for all of $4.99. You know this is a $24 lipstick. It is Frog Prints, and it's one of those color-changing ones where it looks a certain color, but it turns a different shade on you. If you're not familiar with it, these are the ones that it might look bright yellow, but it goes tangerine, or it looks green, and it goes on kind of rosebud pink. So, yeah. So I figured since we're going to go over some of the finds I had found, um from TJ Maxx slash Marshalls in this video today. I might as well pop that on. It really feels like chapstick, which is great. I like it because it's like a chapstick. Um, I'm particular about my lipsticks. If you guys haven't figured it out already, I'm sorry about the, the cast of the, the whitish cast. I will have a sunscreen, mineral sunscreen on when it is a moisturizer sunscreen combo from um, it's the Ester C SPF 30 Paracone one. I got it at a full size gift with purchase for something and it makes my skin slimy. So I can't put any makeup on it. It's nice and moist. I feel plump, but you know, I don't really need that as an oily skin girl, whatever. So I put this on so I don't look dead. And also it kind of goes with my old Navy shirt from like 2004 because I hold on to crap. I'm a hoarder. But anyway, back to the focus of what we're here for. Focus, Barbara, focus. I'm gonna get into a couple of things I found, neat, nifty um, stuff. Yeah, all right, let's just jump in because I'm already at two minutes and I haven't gotten to the friggin' point other than the lipstick. So we already started with that. And it's a mix of high-end and low-end, like this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder Foundation and the shade is Warm Beige 745. It's a little too deep for me right now, which is amazing because you know we're at high summer, but if I put it on with a light hand instead of the sponge, it should be fine. I figure it kind of goes with this guy that I got from Target, if you saw the video that I made after this, before this one. And I'll try and post in order, but whatever. I also found one of those little like Christmas style sets where they give you the lip balm and the mini hand cream from EOS or EOS, Evolution of Soft. And this is the coconut. And it had like a summer print to it. So like I really didn't want to buy it and hold it for somebody to give it to them for like a stocking stuffer because it's clearly summer. So it's my stocking stuffer for me for Christmas in July, because I said so. Because I have a hard life and a low paying job and I need to go ahead and reward myself when I can, damn it. Treat yourself, hashtag. But it's just your usual, it's not the clear ones. I don't like the clear ones. And I tend to use these up, I leave these at my desk. I have one at my desk at work, one at my desk downstairs, one at my nightstand, and uh, I hit these hard. And then this hand cream, perfect purse size or desk size, or leave it everywhere size, because I've got a bunch of them, I just leave them everywhere. So, yeah, um, smells fresh and clean. Doesn't smell expired or anything, because you know, those things, those things matter. Um, and this is in no particular order. I've been in and out of, Tar of TJ Maxx's and Marshall's on my own and with my sister-in-law, looking for baby clothes stuff, because again, I'm gonna be an aunt again. I have a nephew from my blood brother and my sister-in-law, and then this will be a niece from my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. So yeah, these are the two actual babies. And then of course I have a lot of close friends who I feel are like my family who have children, and though a lot of them, those children are already my nieces and nephews, but yeah. Um, I also got this La Vanilla deodorant for $3.99. This set here was $2.99, $3.49, something like that. And this is the uh, Allure winner. I already started trying to peel it off. It doesn't want to come, so it stays. And I figured this is great purse size. If they ever bring back our Pilates and yoga at the office, I can bring it and leave it there. When I was with my sister-in-law, I caught this in the Marshall's Clarence. It's the extractor set. So it's two skincare tools with different size loops and one has the uh, Lancet. It was $2. I asked my sister-in-law, because she is an actual beautician and esthetician, well, she got trained for all of it. And she said, no, that's a steal of a deal. So I bought them. They might be a gift, they might not, I don't know. 
you know, these are my naked eyebrows with nothing on them other than face cream. I mean, they're not that bad. I know I pull at them a lot so I get stressed, so I've made naked spots, but whatever. I'm digressing. Okay, I also got this v KVD Vegan Beauty Greatest Hits three full-size lipsticks for $14.99. And the shades that it includes are Double Dare, Lolita. It doesn't tell me if it's OG or Lolita 2, so I'm assuming it's just Lolita because there are three. And then Outlaw. I have these two in a mini. I don't have that one. So just for this one, I bought it. I like all her liquid lipsticks. I really do. Oh, and speaking of which, okay, now this is getting off topic. I got these online at Sephora, at Ulta, but because these are the three I was missing from the regular tube lipsticks, OG Lolita, Lolita, and Lolita too. Yes, I have a problem, and I don't really care. So back to the focus on that brand. Um, I think I got this one also at Marshall's. Breakout Banish. It is... Four dual-ended blemish tools, so kind of like what I just showed you, but it also has 48 medicated acne patches, like I just finally covered my horn again with yet another patch. It's a double constellation. I'm like the Pleiades, you know? I mean, if you're going to go ahead and be an angry, you know, rhino slash assault style unicorn, you might as well also resemble the friggin' constellations in the sky. So this one was on clearance for $5.50. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or give it to my husband as a stocking stuffer. So, shh, don't tell him. And if he won't watch my video. But if he did, out of merely supporting me, then I love you, baby, and I hope you like it. All right. Now, my sister-in-law found this one when we were in the store together. It is MAC Minis. It says travel exclusive. Mini lipsticks. Five times bold. There were a couple of, there were two versions and there were several of these. But this version here is all matte. The other version was two mattes and three lusters. If anyone really knows me, I don't really like anything other than matte lipstick. So like these Lolitas, they're matte, that works. Unless they're like a chapsticky thing on a day like today where I'm lounging in the house. But this, I thought it was just the lipsticks. It came with an actual case. And the lipsticks are the minis. You know, like the kind you get at Ulta for like 10, 12 bucks. Or like the kind you buy individually for $4.99. These little guys. So I already have Russian Red, then I have Chili, because again, I bought these $4.99 from a prior trip. I think these were May? Might have been May. It's gotta be May. Sorry, I had to do my, why is that drop crap? Because, you know, stuff. It's just hitting my water bottle and all kinds of other crap. I don't really need any of this. This is what happens when I grab at stuff and I didn't actually move it out in advance, but whatever. So yeah, this was $14.99, which wasn't bad, considering that if you go to Ulta, one mini lipstick is $12, unless you buy them when there's buy two, get one free for the minis, and then it's $28, and you get three. Five, plus a bag, $14.99. Smart. Uh, gotta pick up my water, sorry, before she falls because reasons and pick up the AC slash fan remote because reasons. All right. So then I got some palettes. Now everything I got is not all right here. Just some of it. So bear with me. I'm kind of trying to make do with my wall of stuff. So, um, I have developed an addiction to Cara beauty palettes because they carry a lot of them. And so we have this one, which is called daydream. Lovely print. I love this. Reminds me of a dress my mother had when I was a child that I was in love with. And these are the colors. So it's very kind of like mossy greens and has all the names of the colors right there. And I spent all of $5.99 on this puppy, which made me happy because uh, why won't you open right now? It has the outer box and then the slidey thing. I'll show it to you later if I can get it open. But I also got the purple haze palette. I have the orange and the green but I bought them online and they were like, sorry, I bought them from eBay from a third party seller who had them. And even then it cost me like 26 bucks for the two of them. Cause they're usually like 15 a piece. These are the color schemes on the back. This one has the slide out. So it's easier to open cause you know, I'm challenged and it has the little plastic cover, but it also has a sticker for over the mirror. But these are what the colors look like. There are some pressed glitters in there. Um, but as long as they're super fine, like this one's a very fine texture, more like a, a 
like just a uh, not a true pressed glitter but more like an actual eyeshadow this one here looks a little flaky so i'm not sure about that and i right now these two the dark purple and the, the magenta are kind of looking like they might be just pressed glitter um we'll have to see but the rest of them look really hot and you know i do so love me a nice neon orange and yellow and purple they, they go well together so now i have all three because you know me i'm ocd about my palettes all I do is spray them with a little rubbing alcohol every now and then. And they'll last, and when they start to not smell right, I get rid of them. Oh, this was another thing I found. Laura Lee Los Angeles, the party animal palette. And as you can tell, it's been knocked about a bit, but I don't really care. A, I'm not a Laura Lee fan, but B, for $5.99, when you see the colors, you'll see why I got them. Because I'm a sucker for the colors, and I guess I forgive too many people, too many transgressions. But you know what? They're going to make money either way. I might as well have the palette. Tell me that's not a hot palette. It's like a mini version of the electric palette from Urban Decay. And I like it. So we're going to play with this one. And then I also found dun, 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 this no name from what the hell's the name of the brand? C Color Cosmetics. You could tell who they're trying to imitate. I liked the colors because I am addicted to the uh, Honey Palette from Urban Decay. So it's another slide one, another cardboard. And very similar pans, as you can tell, where it's trying real hard. This one I like because it was literally taped down, so they really couldn't get into it to vandalize it. You know how people do. Um, nice little mirror. Yeah, you can see all the junk I have. See, this is why I mean i got to organize my stash. But it's nudes with a little plummy shade, kind of. So I kind of like that, and that black was very tempting for me. And this guy was all of $3.99. So although I don't normally buy knockoff stuff like this, this was just like calling my name. Like, you have to at least try me. And I said, okay. So let's try one more time to get that Cara Beauty one open because now I don't like when things fight back. See, I use my little beauty spatula. It works for so many things. Because if it's going to stay, it's going to work, in the words of Eddie Murphy's Mushu from the original Mulan. All right, so this is what it looks like inside. I'm going to take the plastic off. You can see those greens? They're not quite as dark on the mossiness as they appear over here. Sorry, I'll get it right, I swear. But they're pretty damn close, because, you know, this is ink, and this is actual pigment. So there's always going to be a difference. But these are my colors. These are my jam. So I'm happy. Um, I also got some jewelry in the clearance section, some sterling silver jewelry for people's Christmas and birthday gifts. Um, I also went ahead and got some additional things for my sister-in-law's new mommy bag. I believe in that. Like, mom, everything's about the baby, and mommy should have a little something to help ease into postpartum. So, like, I got her mother's milk tea from Traditional Medicinals and a Hamsa hand with the all-seeing eye against the anti against the evil eye mug and a real soft night shirt and I got her the slipper socks in her color schemes which are purples and pinks with the little um, knobs at the bottom the anti-slip ones because you know the ones they give in the hospital for anything suck you know so I gave her a little bit of stuff for her in addition to the um, Tula version in the rose gold one of one of these which is one of those this one I got on Ulta. It's the uh, Peach and Lily Cold Brew Eye Recovery Stick to Illuminate and Depuff with Cucumber and Caffeine. I originally got her this one, but when the one from Tula came, it was even pinker. And since she is Caucasian, I'm sorry, she's of European descent, she is, that would look better on her skin tone than on mine. So I switched her. So I'm not a bad person. I just thought of us both, damn it. So yeah. So that pretty much covers what I have around me right here then and now that is actually from my recent runs to TJ Maxx and to Target so um oh no 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 wait 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 wait! I do have something else he was buried he was buried oh no he almost missed his time in the sun the CoverGirl rain palette which was pretty hot a while back for $3.99 he's completely untouched by human hands until I opened him so I mean, these technically, when I look at them now without the plastic on them, remind me of those um, shimmer strip eyeshadow palettes from Physician's Formula. But if I just get to wear the purple and that gold, I'd be happy. I mean, the rest are kind of blah for me, but I'll try it. Because for 3 dollars 
I keep it at work as an emergency. Oh my God, I'm going out after work and I came in today and I didn't wear any makeup and my husband's gonna take me out or I'm going out with one of my girlfriends and I don't wanna look like I'm half dead. So let me take my afternoon break, go to the bathroom and put on the face. Because yeah, sometimes it's like that. And I know I don't have little kids, I have cat. Cats, I have cat. Did I mention that my cat passed? I'll put up a video about that separately. So yeah, thank you for being my vlog. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to me. Just blah, blah, blah about how I waste my money and why I can't really afford to buy anything ever. But I save myself money by spending it. Yeah. Other than that, stay well, stay clean, stay kind, wash your hands. If you're not vaccinated, please do consider it. I mean, the, MN, the mRNA technology is over 50 years old and they've used it for other vaccines. Vaccines are not the devil. They do not cause issues. Ask a real scientist, but that's just my opinion. So that way we can all get back to 100% normal. But you do you. Don't want to offend. And if I did offend, oh well, sorry. Be well. Catch you next time.